Hey guys, so I'm headed to the Humane Society here in my county. Um, a friend of mine called me. She's a client too, but she's a friend. She found a dog earlier in the week running through a parking lot in the city in where we, Lebanon, close to where we live. And uh, <clears throat> he's a bigger dog, medium-sized dog, but covered in burrs and mats and stuff. And she wanted to help him out. She she couldn't take him home, obviously. Um, she did take him to the Humane Society where he is now, which is our local shelter. And uh, But she said she's willing to foster him, you know, if, if his temperament's okay and everything. It seems to be. We're going to go check it out now. We're going to go meet him. And uh, I'm going to help her get the burrs out. I had, I only have like a half an hour that I can spend there. I, I got something else I have to do um, that was scheduled. So I can't help her do the full groom. I wanted her to just bring the dog to my shop because I have everything I need there to take care of the situation. But her schedule didn't permit that. So she's going to wash him at the facility at the Humane Society. And... I'm going to kind of get her started. I'm going to try to take care of it if there's any mats, if, you know, approaching the burr situation, stuff like that. I'm going to try to take care of all that so that when I leave her with him, <clears throat> that she can just basically have to to wash him and brush him and, and stuff like that. She said his ears seem to be a problem, so we're going to take a look at that too. Um, hopefully, she said they have tools and stuff. I did bring a couple tools that I thought might help get through the burrs and the mats um, but supposedly they have a setup so I'm hoping they have a clipper and at least a 10 blade if he's got problems with his ears I'm going to clean all that out in his ears and vent those ears for him and he is actually going to see a vet <coughs> about the ears I guess so we'll see we'll see when we get there we should be there in a few minutes and um, we'll pick this story up at that point okay guys we don't know what we're walking into let's check it out I, I do love helping dogs and animals. I'm a little apprehensive because I don't know the dog, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Um, I don't like shelters. I do, but I don't. I have my feelings about that. It kind of goes back to childhood. I have a hard time um, helping out with shelters and getting involved because I, I don't like the situation. Uh, I don't like seeing the dogs feel like they're imprisoned although they're being helped this is where it's you know something in my own psyche um, but I also know that a lot of them don't get homes and, and then I, I I wear that weight I, I can't stop thinking about it especially the bigger dogs often people just walk walk right past them you know um, I don't know if they're they allow cameras in here but I have this little GoPro and I it's pretty sneaky so I'm pretty sure I can get away with some footage with my GoPro. I'm going to show you guys what it feels like walking through this shelter. And maybe we'll get to walk down dog row, dog aisle. It's going to be hard for me. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> I never go to shelters. I can't take it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to sneak some footage in there so you guys can experience it with me. So I won't be the only one with a broken heart, right? Who knows? Maybe I'll find a dog that I'm going to take home with me. I don't want to do that. But anyway, let's see what happens. We'll pick this up in a second. All right, guys. Well, here's the shelter. I'm already starting to feel cringy. I don't like... It just feels like a doggy prison. I know it's not. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if Michelle's here. I'm sure she is. She said she would meet me here at 9 a.m. Um, so here it is. Yeah, she's here. Oh, it just feels so weird. Oh, okay, let's pull right here. Sally, I like it. Hey, Sally. You look like a happy guy. He barked when I came to the cage, so that was good because he hasn't been making. He can't hear you. Do you think he's deaf, or his ears are just so that his bad? His ears are disgusting. Oh, honey, I really hope they have a clipper. Now he may get real ticked off if his ears are hurting if we try to remove, Look clip him. it. 
Oh, Sally. Sorry. I don't. I just. Hi. Oh, it's all right, honey. It's all right. What are you thinking? Yeah, you don't know what to think. Say, I've been through a lot. Yeah, and he he's not neutered, is he? I I didn't look. We'll find out. Yeah. And no collar, no nothing. Nothing. Hey, buddy. Oh, sweet baby. Look up. What is that? What is that? Yeah. We're going to share your story with the world. They don't even know it. We got this sneaky little camera. We're sneaky. You better be careful. I know. Okay, That's you why don't know how he is with other dogs yet, do you? Amy, I'm telling you, I walk him by um, the kennel. Yeah. He doesn't even flinch. All this ugly barking and viciousness. He's just. It's like he doesn't even hear it. He's. You know what? Maybe he doesn't. And I can tell by looking at him, he's not super young. Yeah, he's marking everything. Hi, honey. Aw, oh, he's very bouncy. He does have that uh, spaniel prance, yeah. you know? Yeah, he does. I want to introduce you to Sarah. Oh, give him Sully a bath. It's okay, cutie. Not quite a great it's setup, okay. is it? Even the sprayer has no power, so... Gotta get you good and soaked. A much better job at the shop. But right now we're just focused on giving him a bath. But he didn't even hear that. No. Nope. Most dogs would have jumped. Because mm -hmm. we don't have a table or anything to work with here. He's very reluctant to be brushed or anything because he's not used to it. That's for sure. And you can even get that down and you know show anything you want. It's a really awesome camera. Just that's the top. So that's the direction. Good job, big boy. Oh, we have no power on this sprayer. Now it feels, is it too cold? No, he won't mind. That's fine. Yeah. He doesn't. Unless it's cold, he wouldn't like it, but this is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that cute little I know. face. So, we just, we were sitting in here in this little room with him and we heard somebody say, somebody's here to check out about a stray dog that was turned <laughs> in. And we were like, oh, I wonder if that's his owner. I haven't heard anything so far. Maybe they just don't know where he's at. He's in the, he's in the grooming closet right now. This literally is a yes, closet, isn't it, Michelle? Yes, little tiny room. Loaded with it, supplies. I don't know how often They have it gets a lot used. of supplies. I'm sure they, you know, hey, they, they got to make do with what they have, you know? Yes. Yeah, he's really matted there under the tail. Well, when I found him, his feet were really full of birds. Oh, so still so has somebody worked no. on it? Or you been picking on it? I think he's been picking oh, at it. Oh, he might have, yeah. Yeah. And you found him in a parking lot in the city, right? Yes. At the career oh, link at so Schneider cool. Drive. In fact, one of the posts on Facebook stated they had seen him there that morning early. So, for some reason, that's where he... Oh, he's not neutered. He's not. Uh huh. No. no. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they'll even let you foster him like that, will they? They'll let me foster, but they'll make sure. <laughs> Escape hose! Okay, just put that down for a minute. Let's get some shampoo. Will they let you foster Yeah, him? they just won't let him be adopted until he's fixed. What can I do, Haney? I feel... But just... I, I Just that right now. Okay. <laughs> I, Thank uh, you so much for I really donating want to your time. You did that. It's okay. Do I don't. I don't often get involved with shelters because it's hard for me to leave and yeah. say okay. I didn't. I'm good I with didn't want you that. to have to go back because there's so many dogs here right now. Right. And, and I was afraid. I was apprehensive on the way here. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't come to shelters. I can't handle seeing it. Yeah. Well, there. No, that's terrible. There is so many dogs here right now that need homes, and there's a lot on the stray dog side, too. And I'm wondering how much of that has to do with dogs going into heat right now. Maybe he smelled a dog in heat and took off off his property. Yeah, and he is, it is not the neutered, season, so right. that would make sense for yes. him to roam. Yeah. And his, eye, his eyes have a little bit of a blue tint in there. He's not super young. Mm -hmm. Okay, honey, you're pulling real hard. There you go. Boy, this is some nice shampoo, I'll say. It feels very moisturizing. That's just what he needed. Yeah, he really had a lot of dander. You can get real close, Michelle, and show his skin. He had a lot of dander and buildup of coat, so we are going to um, focus right now on 
getting the coat clean and brush some of this undercoat out. And I felt something on him back here a minute ago. What? It felt like a, I was wondering if he had like a little wart or if it was a sore. Now I can't find it, bud. Maybe you scratched it off. I could have. So it could have just been irritation or something. I don't think it would have been a tick at this time of the year, but. No, I don't think so either. He's real itchy back here, but that could be either his skin is irritated or or he's got you know, a little arthritis and this is triggering a reaction to the way I'm touching him. You know. I'm gonna add a little more water into that, okay, buddy? Yes. Oh, you're being good. I see the out. blue in his eyes. Yeah. 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 Just get that shampoo, rinse him down him a little so I can brush it through. It's okay. I know it's okay. okay. We're just gonna brush, honey. This is how we're gonna get that dead uh -huh. coat off of you. Okay. This is what I tell you to do with Diddy if he's shedding. When he's what? When he's shampooed. I when never the shampoo's in there because it. I never knew you could okay, do honey. that. I never. And he's never been. Brush. Right. No, tell you probably a farm doggy. Yeah. You probably but were. But this, this is just really good. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. This is how you easily remove all that dead coat. And then, mm. considering how dirty he was, I'll probably rinse this and add a little more shampoo. Just wash that clean skin one more time. He'll be. Should we put that cotton in his ears? I didn't even get that far yet. Okay. His head. Are we okay? I'm not sure how he's going to even feel about having his head. Okay. Okay. So. Good job. And this is the tool that I use to do what I did with your Gibby. And you were like, oh, well, he looked super different this time. I, I, I was I like, I never I'm, did that with well, his coat before. But he still looks fluffy mm -hmm. um, and thinner. So much. No, actually, I think he looks really big. You know, when, you, when you touch the coat, doesn't it? Oh, okay. honey, that's I okay. Know. Was he's, that a source? Ah. I think he's apprehensive. Yeah, it's I all right. I think he's unsure. Yeah, well, that's only natural. Yeah. I just think yeah. you're unsure, baby. Yeah, that's why I'm not okay. even thinking about doing anything with his head right now because I don't know how he's going to feel about that. And yeah. I would at least like him to allow us to do the body first. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. yeah. See, but the thing about getting a bath is you get a massage, honey, and you're going to figure that out real quick. You'd be like, oh, okay, I get this. Yeah, I get this feels pretty good. Massage. Yeah, and I probably didn't get too much of this. It's okay. Just get water. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like and we keep. Shampoo. I never used that before. I'll tell you what, it feels amazing. I'm it gonna, does feel really what soft. What is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to order some. Top Paw. Oh, I know. Top Paw products. That's a nice shampoo. Somebody probably donated that. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. Now I may have a new finger. It does feel very, very moisturizing. Yes. I don't even think we need to condition this guy. This is a very moisturizing shampoo. Now is that a product you have to get through a distributor? Or? I think Topfall is from, from Thrive. It's something you can order from Penage, which is where I order a lot of stuff. Okay. I can wash this underside here. All kinds of stuff in there. Hmm. No poop bears. You can't hear me. Why am I talking? I know. That's I'm gonna keep thinking. We keep talking to him to I soothe know. him, but he's really not able to hear at this point anyway. Hopefully that's not a permanent thing, but Yeah. I, I was know. thinking I, I didn't sleep last night. I was just thinking about this dog all night long. I know. <laughs> and See, I thought, how do you have a deaf dog? Like in my brain I was like trying to well, figure figure that out. Like how he, do you some dogs are born deaf, so obviously, yeah. you know, they just are. And they, they get a little they they, they, okay. they they do just fine with their other senses. I wanna I want this side of him. Hey Sally, let's turn you. Usually my methods of turning dogs. I'm not sure how they'll feel about that. There you there go. There we go. There we go. Come here. Yes, yeah, yeah, so good boy. Yeah, let me look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what all I'm getting on this camera, but 
Oh, it's okay. It, it has. I don't know how wide it, the yeah, angle. Yeah, and the, the thing the, is, the it has no preview, so you don't need. <laughs> it's cool though to get. It gets some good. Has kind of a wide angle, but not too wide, but much wider than our phones do. Oh, and it, it does. Has very, okay. Very good clarity too. It's a little camera. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Good. Boy, his, his coat's doing so silky right now. Ooh, silky smooth. This is going to be a huge difference for him. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get oh. a picture or two with my camera everything. Well, it's fine. I want to I do a good job. I want him, you know, to feel that I'm not just going to do And it's pretty warm out, even if they put him in an outside kennel after, afterwards, when it's some fresh air, it will dry outside. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it, baby? And it feels good, I know. Okay. Kick me off if the loser owner comes I back for it and he's all baby. That was another thing I was thinking about. Just there was, off. you know, like 430 shares on that Facebook page. And there's no way. If that owner was missing him for a while, which is probably yeah. true. When did you pick him up and bring him in? Um, what's today? Friday. Wednesday. Get some footage. <laughs> Wednesday around 11.30 or Wednesday. so. Wednesday, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, he was obviously missing for a while, and I know okay. if my dog was missing, I would have, the Humane Society would have known that my dog was missing. Before, before he was turned in. <laughs> right. I agree. Yes. I know. So. Yeah, but. But if he is a farm dog, like you said. They're, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. he'll come back. Yeah. He's probably run maybe, off hundreds of times. Maybe he went he off into the field to die. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's nearly ready to give up on life. No, but, oh, that, mean what but that would, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job, baby. Good job. Yeah, you don't like your legs messed with. I know, with. but That's I really want to sure. get those mats out of there. Yeah. yeah. See the birds? Your feet are going to be so pretty, and they're going to feel so much better. A little bit, but oh, there's a huge bird. Cut that? Yes. Okay. Good job. Let me hold your face. There we go. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Of course I can't. I have his nose if you want to use both your hands. There, you almost got it. Big boy. We've done wonders on this coat already. I can tell you, it feels great. <laughs> it's a good shampoo. I'm impressed. <laughs> I are impressed. Uh, I can't figure this I know. Okay. <laughs> That's Sorry. What, I was like, jeez. It's like too hot one second oh, and yeah. freezing cold the next. Okay. You oh. are really shedding, buddy. Okay. I got it now. All right, baby. Almost finished. Yeah. Jeez, come on. Don't be cute. Cleaning up the face. Oh, oh yeah. little pudding. Okay, well, I don't know. Teeth look good. Yeah? Yeah? They look like rotty look teeth. Good they for... do look like rotty teeth. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. I He'd be one that you would want to invest in that test Does to it... see what the heck is in there. It's like ten breeds. <laughs> yeah. Hey, holy crap! There's a hound dog in here. We got Bernice us. Mountain Dog. Uh, yeah, I think that's Australian possible. Shepherd. Yeah, some spaniels, some retriever, yeah. and some 
some working breed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So this dog covers a lot of ground. He can yeah. herd your he can herd your cattle. He can guard your property. <laughs> Although he doesn't bark. Because if he doesn't hear, he has nothing to bark at. I'm thinking that he doesn't hear so no, well. No, he doesn't hear. I mean, I, I was mean, he banging did, he, on he, when he saw me. Banging when, on that, he didn't even hear that. When I went See? to his cage to get him, he barked at me. He was excited. Maybe out of excitement. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I feel for you, baby. I hope whoever owned you does not come looking for you. I really, really do. Because they neglected him. Mm -hmm. And he's not neutered, which means if he is a farm dog running, of course he's going to run away. Yeah. And they investigate if the dog's in heat somewhere else. Yeah, you know? that happens. Yeah. I know my neighbor's dogs are in heat, and so the farm dog from down below has been coming up. There you go. Yep, that's all it well, takes. They, they can smell it for miles. Mm -hmm. It's their instinct to track that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. You can see his shape a little bit more with the... I know, isn't it great? His skin looks so healthy. There was a healthy coat under here, honey. I know. You know what? I, I'll let you turn. Do you want to turn this way? Oh, that's a boy. Mm -hmm. Now we can work on this side. <laughs> All right, very gently. We're getting right through these mats with this with this technique. I didn't, I thought we may have to shave that, which we don't have any means to shave it here or a setup that we can even work with him. We didn't, all we needed was shampoo and a slicker brush to take care of getting through this dead coat. And after this, we're going to go get your ears clean, buddy. Yeah. 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 Great. You need that. You're going to be exhausted. I know. I hope you got some sleep. Yeah, that's true. At least he had a warm... Oop, I, get right. I get it, honey. I get it. I get it. Okay. See. Yeah, that ear oh, is I really sore. He had a couple times been I'm not happy with him. Yeah. And it feels good. We did good there. So if we're good, we can leave it alone now. I'm going to put a little bit of conditioner in there, though. Just to keep, to keep things nice and in case we can do any brushing in the next day or so, the conditioner will keep his coat nice and silky. Boy, this is good stuff. I'm impressed. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nothing but the best here, Amy. Okay. I tell you what, it makes me forget I'm grooming in the closet. <laughs> Boy, his skin's going to be so happy. That other cotton ball came out. It's hard to keep them in there. Yeah, there's nothing to, there's yeah. no hole really because his ears are so swollen oh, in there. Are. Tail feels great. You see all this coat? This is what we wanted to get out of. Now he'll have his skin will be he a can little breathe. bit of a re rejuvenation. And yeah. Then, yeah. All right. Now, I could brush you a lot more, but I'm very happy with what you've allowed us to do and the progress that we've made. So and Amy has a date. I do. Not with my husband. No. With my girlfriend. I haven't seen my husband work. Yeah, I won't see him now for another who knows how many days. Is he working a lot of weekends and overtime? Well, his he works. He doesn't work like five days a week. He works five days on, four days off. Oh. So he's working all weekend. Today he started a stretch, and then he gets four extra days. So you never really know what his schedule is going to look like. But the three days he was off this week, I worked day and night. So your schedules were completely Yeah, so we opposite. didn't really get to see each other at all. Yeah. And I, this week was not a good week for me. I was really stressed and tired. Really? Yeah. Just overwhelmed? Yeah, you just go through spurts like that. When oh, you I know. Just <clears throat> yep. That right there, rotty face. You bet. And those are rotty teeth. <laughs> But I'm glad he doesn't like using them. <laughs> Bodies aren't typical by No. They're not. They're wonderful dogs. Well, that, the fosters that I had were Roddy German Shepherd mix. And they were smart as a whip, those dogs. I I'm telling you. I had them, you know, from six weeks to mm -hmm. like three months, maybe. Oh, and they were so easy Why to train. Why did you call me over to see these puppies? 
I really had him on Facebook. No, you could have come over. Well, now I know. I wasn't so sure what you were up to all the time, but every time I saw you, I thought you were on Facebook. There was a different dog on your couch, and I was like, okay, now I get it. She's posturing. <laughs> That's it. Oh boy, oh boy. Nice job. Well, the little one that I just had the other week, the little French Bulldog mix, they said she was just in to get neutered uh, from recently. Her, from who? The who people was. that adopted her. Yeah. I said, how was she? They said, okay. I was like, oh, I'm still heartbroken over that. Why can't you have her? You wanted her, right? The people that dropped her off. Oh, um, no, family member. Yeah. Screw that. <laughs> I know. It was pretty <laughs> It was pretty. I went through mourning about, about that one. Absolutely. <laughs> Some dogs you bond with so fast. I'm still looking for a frangle online. <laughs> and I looked at the one that you mentioned, the Boston Terrier. Yeah. So that would be a, that would be a good mix. Good job, baby. You know, his nails are uh, obviously never clipped, but. Pretty long for a dog that's out running all the time. Usually, a dog that's out running all the time will keep their nails kind of worn down. But of course, if he's just running on ground, like grass, yeah, you know, probably wouldn't. Yeah, honey. Wear them down very well. He can do something helpful. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought that was a nail. It was his hair. Right there. We got it. Okay. We're over rinsing, aren't we? <laughs> He's going to feel so amazing. This dog. Isn't that clean skin, I bet? <laughs> mm-hmm. Feel a little bit of silkiness in there, so it's not all rinsed out yet. Now comes that massage. Does it make it worth When you're ready to go, you just give me instructions on what to do. If you want me to brush him a little more, or. I say he's had enough, and we, okay. we got a lot out of him. He doesn't feel mad at okay. him, like anywhere, really. I would walk him and let him shake and shake outside and shake most of that off if, you're, if you can take it Should I out. take a towel to him first or no? Yeah, we will. Okay. We will. I'll go out with you when you take him out. I guess we put okay. it in my mouth there, too. See that big butthole? Yeah. What? That's another thing. That that's not a young dog. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. It's almost like prolapsed, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I bothered you a little, or you just didn't feel comfortable with it. All right. I know. We're going to get you out. You've had it. You've been very good. And you've had enough. I know. Mm -hmm. You've had enough. Get your ears cleaned, okay, buddy? Go see Dee Dee. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like, that's a fan, like a Springer. Mm hmm. Some type of. Yeah, I think it's like a silky coat. Of course, that good shampoo and conditioner is very helpful. I am definitely going to look into that. I just pulled that out of his ear. Yeah. Everything runs pretty good there. Yeah. I love his beard. It's cute. <laughs> I 
I know you don't like your hiney. I think your hiney's bothering them. Whatever's mm -hmm. going on back there. Okay. okay, yep, we're All just right. about we're done. done. Yeah, you've been so good. I just want to rinse right in yes. Yes. on your back quarter panel. You got pokers. You got to get the pokers out. We can't have pokers. No pokers. No pokers. Yeah. Well, he is clean now. Yay. So at least if he has to go to your house, he will not be gross. Mm-hmm. It's funny how he didn't really smell that I noticed. Isn't that he interesting? Didn't. Yeah. How can that be? He didn't. I don't know. It's if he's got a... Well, see, Spaniels and Retrievers have a repellent poop type. Repels water, usually, and dirt. Spaniels, especially, because they're made to be in brush. You know, go in and fetch things. And... So that coat type tends to produce a little bit of oil. It keeps things sloughed out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, honey. Oh. There. Just going to dry you, okay? Oh, yeah. You smell so good. Mm -hmm. I think we should take a selfie with the dog then. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> That's what we want. That's if we can get. Yeah. If we can go walk him before a, they clean his door. ears. There's a door. Yeah. Let it right shake, 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 shake. Mm -hmm. Just get the majority of this off. Hey, buddy. And it's a nice warm day out. Get your good side. <laughs> That's it, baby. Okay. I wonder what they want us to do with it. I'll come back in here and clean this up. I'll get, I don't know what they use, a broom, and I'll clean the tub out. There's these yucky things. Yeah, and just let it here. I'll come back in and clean it up before I leave. Yeah. So we did good, didn't we, Michelle? Yes. Oh, he feels so good. His skin feels amazing. Oh, we got all the little mats out and all the burrs. We just want him to walk around outside and shake all that off. Right, buddy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's an unneutered male, and he has he's to wee-wee on everything. He is a mutt of all mutts. See my shirt? I like big <laughs> mutts in it. Well, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Hey, dude. Uh-oh. That's not included that in your rent. Trouble. Yeah. Now you're going to yeah. have to work that off. He looks a little swollen in he, His butt looks yeah. prolapsed. And he cried a lot in the tub when I rinsed his butt. Not when I washed it. Just when I rinsed it. Oh, you couldn't notice that until he's bathed. Now it's a Something that he may have a little abscess as well. There is an open sore there. Either it was an abscess or it's it's all Yeah. Oh don't get your feet muddy. <laughs> Did that feel good? Don't get those oh, feet muddy. So good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all right. Oh, yeah. oh it's all right guys. You got some in. Boy, oh, his oh, skin oh. looks great. I'm so happy for him. I bet he feels amazing. Oh, it almost like he hears that now. Yes. Huh. Look at that interesting looking dog. Oh, that's an adorable dog. Aw, I think it's a hairless. Uh, it has mange. It could have mange. Yeah. It's all right, guys. Boy, that butt does not look happy. No, no, no. Watch. Oh, yeah, something's going on there. It could be, I guess, a infected anal gland, too, that, that has now turned into a pimple-type abscess. Yeah. It's got blood in his poop. See that? Uh, I'll let them know that. Yeah. 
It's good that good that we saw that because we can give them to, all this information. He's gonna have to go to the vet. Oh, honey, please don't step in that pool. Your near your dirty, dirty feet. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Sorry, good. but there's blood in that pool. Yeah. It's good to know. Now the vet can have all this information, and they'll know where to go from here with him. I should. I do have a bag. Should I pick that up? That way they can test it, maybe. Here, I'll go get it. Well, guys, I'm really happy with the turnout for little Solly. That's what we're calling him. Big Solly. Um, we got all the mats out of him. His skin feels very healthy. We did discover his ears are pretty bad. Um, he's going to see the vet today. Uh, he also seems to have an abscess on his buttocks. And it seems to be causing him pain. And we noticed when he had a bowel movement outside that there was a little bit of blood in his stool. And th there could be a lot of reasons for that. But Michelle had a great idea and she said, scoop up that poop. Let's take that to the vet too and have them take a look. So. He's going to see the vet today for a lot of different reasons and uh, hopefully they're just going to continue getting him feeling like a new man. Um, I, I was really happy to do that and it, it wasn't so bad being at the shelter as I thought. It actually felt good. I was really nervous initially. I, I didn't feel good about being there and I didn't want to see all the dogs on Dog Row. And I didn't actually walk down Dog Row which was probably a good idea. Michelle told me the shelter is full. So I don't want to see that. I mean, I sh should. But I don't know. I'll get over it, guys. I'm working on it, okay? So, uh, Michelle is looking into fostering him, possibly taking him home later tonight. So, I I'm going to find out if that's what happens. She's going to stay in close contact with me. If she does take him home, we may get him into my shop this weekend to actually give him a little bit more of a professional look. Um, with some trimming, you know, make him, make him feel good, trim up those pads, he's got a lot of coat in his pads, mats and stuff, we got all the mats out of, of his body, but his pads are nothing but solid hair, matty mess, so, um, we'll see, um, so far, he was turned in Wednesday, today's Friday, nobody's looking for him yet, that doesn't mean they won't be, but, and he's also, uh, intact, he's not neutered, so it sounds like he was a farm dog. He's never been trimmed before. He certainly was very confused about brushing and bathing, but he fell into it right away and accepted it. It was so cool. I think he felt amazing when it was done too. So I'm, I'm so happy. And I'm so happy for people like Michelle who donates her time. She works two jobs and she has time to help animals like this. God, it's amazing. I'm, I'm just so, I'm so thankful that there's people like that walking amongst us. Isn't that great? So I'll talk to you guys soon.